Welcome back. We are now looking at the list settings and we're looking in the subscription tab. And what you'll notice is that all four of the links are pages that you can actually take a look at before your client actually sees them. Now, one of the things that you actually have control of is the confirmation page and you have control over that through your general tab when you upload an image. Now, you'll notice that we have placed this image in this area but we want to take a look at the actual page because this confirmation page will be controlled by the size of that image. So we're going to click the confirmation preview so we can see what our customer will actually land on when they confirm their email address. And one thing you're going to notice right at the beginning is that the image is very large in relation to the rest of the text. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to reduce the size of this image so it's more in line with the actual text. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back, we're going to click change file, and we're going to click a smaller sized image. We're going to click open, and then we're going to click save general settings. What we are now going to do is we're going to go to this subscription tab and then we're going to recheck the confirmation page. And you'll see now that our image is more in line with our text. Now what we can also do is we can also set up a custom confirmation page. And in that particular case we would click this custom URL and if we wanted to send our visitors to an offer or we wanted to send them to something that we wanted them to see, we'd actually use this custom URL in order to do it. And so in this particular case, when the user actually clicks their confirmation link, they're going to be taken to the URL that we placed there. So we're going to go ahead and write a URL here. This now means that when the person clicks the link, they will be taken to Google.com. And so because each individual list will be different, you will have different purposes that you'll need in order to use the confirmation link. In some cases, you'll want to send people to a specialized page. In other cases, it'll be just fine to send them to get response. What we want to do now is go to the confirmation message tab. Now, in terms of the actual confirmation message, get response does give you a level of customization you can assure that your visitor is actually going to get a plain text email or you can make sure that they get the standard HTML and this will allow them to see images if you place them in your email. You can actually change the subject line and they have a number of different subject lines that you can actually use in order to do that. Now if you want to write your own you can do that. One of the difficulties in so doing is you want to make sure that your subject line will actually get you through the spam filters and the ones that have been tested by GetResponse. And because this is not a content email, you can safely go with their confirmation link. So we're going to go back to the predetermined subject lines and we're just going to pick one. Now, if you have more than one email address on file with GetResponse, you can actually change to that email address. Now, in most cases, it will not be a good practice to use a Gmail address, and you'll want to set up an email address with your domain specifically to send with your emails. We will actually be going over that in another video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the body template. We have a level of customization there. We can choose a different template from GetResponse. For example, we can use a newsletter subscription. We can use an invitation request. And in every case, you'll want to take a look to get a sense for whether or not the body template actually fits what you are trying to do. And then you can begin to customize some of the message. Now, GetResponse will actually give you some latitude over what's in the template. You can write some here at the beginning. You can actually customize your salutation. But for the most part, what GetResponse tries to do is to make sure that the confirmation email tells the visitor exactly what they have signed up for and what they can expect. Now, this is not the place for you to write things like 
where your Facebook page is or where your YouTube channel is, you want to leave that for your first informational email. This is strictly to make sure that the person who has signed up knows exactly what they have signed up for. So even if you customize, you want to keep that customization to a minimum. And you want to save all of the other content-based information for your first email. Once you've completed your confirmation customizations, you can click Save Confirmation Message. And then your confirmation message will be saved. And then go back to the general settings or to the subscription settings. And in order to go back to the dashboard, all you'll need to do is to click this button. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.